Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. In this video, I'm continuing on from my last video where I showed addition and subtraction. In this video, I will show how to do uh, multiplication and division and square roots in binary. Let's take a look at what we do when we're multiplying a, a number in decimal. So if I have 26 times 14, and the way I calculate this out is first I start operating with this digit right here. And I say 4 times 6 is 24, carry the 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. And then we shift over one digit, maybe put a 0 there, that's what we were taught. And then uh, multiply 6 and 2. And then we add them all up and we end up with our final result. Well it's pretty much like that in binary except that you don't have to worry about these carries and uh, there's only really two cases that you need to deal with. So let's take a look at 10 times 13. Alright, 10 in binary is 1010 zero, zero. And 13 is 1101. All right. First thing I'm going to do is 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. All right. Well, if you notice, this right here is exactly that. And it always will be if it's a 1. If it's a 0, we just get all zeros. So the next one is 0, 1, 0, 1. And this one is 0, 1, 0, 1. All right. Now we just need to add all these together. 0, 1, 0. Now this one's 2. So 2 is 1, 0 in binary. We just carry the 1 and add it over here. This one also becomes 2. It's 0, 1, still 0, still, finally there we go. So this is 130 in binary. Let's do one more. And we're going to do 14 times 13. All right. 14 in binary is 1110, and 13 is 1101. All right. So again, if it's a 1, we just copy it down, just as it is. If it's a 0, it's all zeros. All right, just add them up. 0, 1, 1, 2. Now we have 3. So 3 is 1, 1. Carry it. We've got a 3 here again. 1, 1, 0, 1. Like that. So this is the answer of 14 times 13. Let's say we had a longer number down here. So we had a lot more columns. And we ended up, let's say we had 5. Uh, 5 ones in this column. The way you deal with that is 5 in binary is 101. So uh, we'd end up with a 1 down here. We would carry a 0 and a 1 so that these would be in their respective columns. And then we just add it just like normal. So that's all you have to do when multiplying in binary. Let's look at binary division. Let's take, uh, we'll do a very simple one at first. 8 divided by 2. So 1, 0, 0, 0 di divided by 2, which is 1, 0. At each digit um, position column, we, we bring that value down and we say, can we subtract this? from what we have here 
and get a positive or, or simply a non-negative number. And for this column, the answer is no. For this column, we can subtract 2 from 2 to get 0. And we bring over the 0 here. Um, we cannot subtract that, so 0. And we bring down this one. Can we subtract that? Nope. All right. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Let's do just a little bit, a uh, little bit longer one. I'm just going to work with number that I have no idea what it is, and I'm going to divide by three. All right. Well, with just this digit, can I subtract? Nope. Can I subtract and get a non-negative here? Yes. Bring down one more digit. Can I subtract that and get a non-negative? Nope. Bring another one down. Nope. Bring another down. Still no. Finally, we can. All right. 1, 1. So this is 5 minus 3 is 2. All right. Bring one more down. 5 again. We can do that. 1, 1. And uh, remainder. This is our remainder right here. The remainder of is 2. Typically, when you're dividing in a digital system, the remainder is just lost, uh, unless you've specifically written an algorithm or written uh, made hardware to deal with that. All right, finally, let's just go on to square roots. Uh, the way that square roots work is like this. I'm going to do two numbers here. Uh, I'm going to do the value 144, which we know the square root of that is 12. All right, and 144 in binary is that. And I want to take the square root. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this up into, into groups of two digits. In there. All right. Now here is the way that you compute a square root in binary. It's really easy, actually. It's very similar to division. I'm going to take the value that is up here in my partial answer, and I'm going to put it into this little circle here. And then I'm going to append on to the end of that 0, 1. All right. And I'm going to, just like uh, just like in division, can I subtract this value from here and get a non-negative number? And in this case, we have this grouping of 2. So it's 2 minus 1. The, the, the partial answer that was here at this step is 0. So I'll put that there. So can I subtract that? Yes. Now I'm going to bring down two more digits. And I'm going to take the partial answer and put it in my little cheat circle here. And can I take uh, 101 and subtract it from 101? And the answer is yes. So I put another one up there, 0. And I bring down two more digits. I bring this one over to here. All right, can I subtract 1101 from 0? The answer is no. And I bring down two more. And can I subtract 11001 from 0? And the answer is no. So this is 144 here. And this up here, as you'll notice, is 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. Let me show you one more example. Let's say I wanted to get the square root of 5. And the square root of 5 is uh, 2.1 or 2.218 sorry. 
Square root of 5 is 2.23 something. All right. In binary, I have 1, 0, 1. That's 5. I'm going to take the square root there. Here's my decimal place. To get a group of 2, I'm going to put an extra 0 there. Here's my little cheat bubble. And 0, 1. All right. The answer up here is 0. Can I subtract that? Yes. Bring down another. All right. Can I subtract this from this? The answer is no. All right. Bring that over here. Now I'm just going to just pad this. I can add as many zeros as I want, and I'm still going to have five. So zero, zero. And can I subtract this? from that, and the answer is no. Add another couple. And uh, let's see, I've computed this ahead of time. Pretty much what it works out to is we get 0, 1, 1, 1. And if you remember from a previous video of mine, this is 2 to the negative 1, 2 to the negative 2, 2 to the negative 3, 2 to the negative 4, and so on. Uh, so uh, this is 1 half quarter eighth, 1 16th, 1 32nd. If you add those together with the whole part, we get 2.218 uh, 2 75, which is reasonably close to this. And if we just kept going, we'd eventually hone in on uh, the actual answer. So that is how to perform multiplication, division, and square roots in binary. If you've enjoyed this video, please check out uh, my YouTube page. I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com.